What up YouTube, this your boy down low back for another industry talk. Let's talk about Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy recently was arrested and is currently out on bail. But the reason why he got arrested is because he was in a car with $46,000, 5 ounces of weed, and a gun. And this is horrible for him because he had 10 interviews lined up that day for his documentary film that's supposed to be coming out. Now he's proclaiming his innocence, but let's be real, why would you even put yourself in that type of predicament? There comes a point when you are so famous that you can't get caught up in this type of shit. It really just fucks up your business. It's simple rules that you do not keep your ounces on you and your money. You don't do it, because if you get caught, they taking everything. So they're not describing if the gun was licensed or unlicensed. Now, if it was like in the state of New York, he would be screwed. With it being in Georgia, I don't know what the legal system is looking like when it comes to unlicensed firearms, but honestly, his gun should have been licensed if it was his. Because let's be real, Soldier Boy ain't gonna be shooting nobody, so why even have a gun if it's not licensed? Let's move on to Rick Ross, man. It's, it's been a sad week for rappers across the board, man, because Rick Ross has had multiple seizures while flying to do shows. Now, this is a lot of reports coming out from all this close to him, like Wale and Pill and all of them dudes saying that Ross is okay. What a lot of people don't know is you can be completely healthy and have a seizure. Seizures vary from person to person, but yet it can also be a symptom of something much more serious. And these type of things help us remember that one day we are here, the next day we could be gone. So go ahead and live the way you want to live and be thankful for what you have. Next, let's talk about Manny Fresh. Manny Fresh recently had an interview in which he went on ahead and tore down the whole myth of a Hot Boys reunion coming back. Basically, a bunch of members of the old Cash Money was talking about let's get back together and do this. But that was only to the cameras. None of these dudes actually sat back and talked to each other about getting back together. That's what Manny Fresh said. Basically, dudes was just saying this to get a little bit of promotion, to look pretty good to the camera, when they were just utterly full of shit from the beginning. And let this be a lesson to anybody who followed this shit, or to anybody who thinks that rappers in the industry are not as full of shit as the rappers on the underground. The rappers in the industry just typically got fucking lucky to have gotten it. Them bitch ass rappers that you be recording that are full of shit, they are the people who are in the industry as well. And also, never believe anything anybody tells you until you get clarification from everybody who's supposed to be involved saying that yes, this is going to happen. And lastly, let me end this one on a good note, man. Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith bought into the 76s. So as you look at it, hip-hop is starting to influence the NBA even more. Because you see, Jay-Z moved the Nets to book. I believe Jermaine Dupri is part owner of the Hawks. See, but this is the thing, though. Especially about white America. Only when your sport starts to struggle, that's when the black celebrities with money are permitted a opportunity to get into. Please believe if the NBA was still on top of the United States when it comes to viewers, season long, and all of that instead of the NFL, none of these guys would have got a franchise. It's just like these damn clubs out here. They only turn to promote towards black people when it seems like they're not making enough money to sustain. And this was another episode of Industry Talk. Holla at your boy.